How's it going, guys? Taste on the money here, making my thoughts. In opinions, the Bleach chapter 542. And pretty much, it was a good chapter. The only thing I got, the only thing gripe I got about it is pretty much, it was fucking fast as fuck. Like, as soon as I got the first page, boom. I'm already at the 17th page. Like, that was too fucking quick. And that's the only reason because, in the revealing Ichigo's news on Pacto form, it took up at least, like, what, 45 pages of fucking doing some big ass entrance, you know, the big ass explosions. It wasted, like, five good ass pages. Like, that's crazy as fuck. Kuba, we have. I don't, Kuba got his artwork and everything, but you can't waste it on five pages just to introduce a news on Pacto. Like, it's just a little bit of a waste. Like, the chapter just, like, went just like that. But the chapter starts with half last week where, I guess, fake Juhagetsu, or whatever you want to call him, whatever. He's going on, uh, pretty much, Ichigo is thinking, thinking on it, pretty much, wondering to himself, like, like, well, Zan, fake, uh, fake, Zan gets or whatever, he's gone forever and everything. And then we get the big-ass explosion, now that Wetsu has finished making Ichigo do Zak Pakuto, it makes this big-ass explosion, Ichigo grabs onto the sword. It makes this big ass explosion, like really big explosion, five pages worth of it. And one of Uetsu's Zanfarto assistants pretty much says, Hey, you shouldn't grab it with your hands, it's gonna, you know, burn your hands. Pretty much Uetsu says, It's alright, and everything. And Uetsu tells Ichigo, Hey, how's your new Zanfarto? And next panel, we see Ichigo's Zanfarto, and it's, it's two of them. He has one in his right hand, and the other in his left hand. Can't exactly see what the fuck they look like, cause it's like a, sh a little bit of silhouette, a little bit, cause you can't see it up close. Only thing I can see is like a butcher knife in one hand, and a, like a shorter butcher knife in the other. And I'm guessing these two represent these two zanfak toes represent one of them being his zanfak toe of the hollow side. I'm just assuming. I'm just this is speculation, is all. One the hollow and the other one it may be his Quincy powers, you know. One is, you know, the Shinigami slash hollow, aka visor, and the other one in the left hand is the Quincy powers. I'm just speculating like I said. I can't exactly say can't exactly say because we see in one of the panels Ichigo's holding the, both the swords we see in the background there is hollow Ichigo and also fake Juhagetsu or whatever you want to call him. But as that happens, Ichigo now has his swords and everything. Pretty much we switch over to the um, Van der Rice's hideout and pretty much some of his soldiers are like uh, all saluted to him pretty much saying all you here are stern readers prepare prepare to be employed to go somewhere I have some information for you and that's where the chapter ends for Bleach 5 Bleach 542 overall it was a good chapter it just had a few gripes here and there about you know going too fast wasting Wasting five fucking pages just to make an entrance of a Zang Pakto. I guess it was a little okay seeing his new Zang Pakto finally. I'm just curious to see exactly what it is now that he has two Zang Paktos. I'm guessing one is, you know, like I said, advisor and the other one is Quincy Power. So, I can't wait to see what he does with them in battle. Now, exactly how this is going to look in Bankai form, two Zors, that's going to be interesting to see. I'm curious on that one, though. But I hope now we um, see what's going on with the other, you know, the other captains and everything, what they're doing, and also to see what exactly the um, Van der Rice are up to. They see how they have some information on something. I'm guessing they're gonna be headed headed somewhere like what Soul Society again, the Human World, um, the Royal Palace. This is just speculations. But let me know with your comments below. Rate, comment, subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day, guys.